High testosterone will give you more confidence, more muscles, and will make you more attractive to the women around you. That's why, today, we're diving straight into 10 things that are destroying your testosterone. We're talking about things you do without even thinking. Stick around, because if you're doing more than five of these things, you might be in serious trouble. First up, not talking to girls in real life. It's a phenomenon that's becoming more and more common, especially in the age of social media. Look, I get it. Online dating and social media have made it easier than ever to connect with people. But there's a catch. The convenience of digital communication often comes at the expense of genuine human interaction. Nothing can replace the raw, primal energy of face-to-face -face interaction, especially with the opposite sex. The nuances of body language, the electricity of eye contact, the warmth of a genuine smile, these are things that can't be replicated through a screen. Think about it, men are biologically wired to be hunters, to pursue and engage. This isn't just about dating, it's about fulfilling a fundamental aspect of our nature. When you're constantly glued to your phone, scrolling through profiles, you're essentially neutering yourself, you're missing out on the thrill of the chase, the satisfaction of a real connection. Talking to women, putting yourself out there, it builds confidence. It's a skill that improves with practice, and the more you do it, the better you get. And studies show that just talking to a woman you find beautiful in real life can double your testosterone levels. That's insane. So go out there and face your fear of rejection. Every time you overcome that fear, you grow stronger. It's not just about getting a date or getting laid, although that's a nice bonus. It's about pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. Get out there, be social, and watch your testosterone improve. It's 100% worth it. Number 2. Polyester Clothing Sure, it's comfortable and affordable. However, studies show polyester can actually lower testosterone levels. Polyester is a synthetic fabric, which means it's made from petroleum-derived materials. It's cheap, it's durable, and it's everywhere. It all comes down to something called xenoestrogens. These are chemicals that mimic the effects of estrogen in the body, and unfortunately polyester is full of them. When you wear polyester, these xenoestrogens can leach into your skin and wreak havoc on your hormonal balance. The solution is simple. Opt for natural fabrics like cotton or wool to keep your T-levels intact. Not only will you be doing your testosterone levels a favor, but you'll also look and feel better. Next, let's talk about food, brothers. You are what you eat, and if you're constantly stuffing your face with highly processed crap, guess what? Yeah, your body is going to reflect that. Your testosterone levels are going to suffer. It's not just a minor issue. It's a big deal for your overall health and well-being. I'm talking about the usual suspects, sugary drinks, fast food, packaged snacks, anything that comes in a box or a bag, with a list of ingredients you can't pronounce. These are the enemies of your health. This stuff is loaded with sugar, unhealthy fats, and chemicals that wreak havoc on your body, including your hormone levels. It's a toxic cocktail that does more harm than you can imagine. Sugar is a major culprit here. It's hidden in so many foods and drinks, and it's silently sabotaging your health. It spikes your insulin levels, which in turn lowers testosterone production. This is a vicious cycle that you need to break. But it's not just about what you shouldn't eat, it's also about what you should be eating. The right foods can make a world of difference. Think fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and healthy fats. You know, the stuff our ancestors thrived on. These are the building blocks of a strong and healthy body. Fueling your body with the right stuff is like giving your testosterone production a supercharge. It's about making choices that support your health and vitality every single day. Number 4. Microwaving your food in plastic containers. This one is a biggie, fellas, and it's all about something we do almost every day, heating up our food. We often don't think twice about it, but the way we do it can have serious consequences. Now, I love the convenience of a microwave as much as the next guy, but there's a right way and a wrong way to use it. It's quick, it's easy, and it saves us a lot of time, but we need to be mindful of the materials we use. And trust me, microwaving your food in plastic containers is the wrong way. It might seem harmless, but it's far from it. Here's the deal. Many plastics contain harmful chemicals like BPA, which stands for bisphenol A. This chemical is used in the production of certain plastics and resins. These chemicals are endocrine disruptors, meaning they can mess with your hormones, including testosterone. They can mimic or interfere with the body's natural hormones, leading to a host of health issues. And when you heat up plastic in the microwave, these chemicals can leach into your food and end up in your body. This is especially concerning when the plastic is old or scratched. The good news is there's a simple solution, ditch the plastic, and opt for glass or ceramic containers when you're heating up your food. 
These materials are much safer and don't pose the same risks. They're microwave safe, they won't leach harmful chemicals into your food, and they're better for the environment too. So, next time you're about to nuke your leftovers, think twice about the container you're using. Your hormones will thank you. Next, speaking of plastics, drinking water from plastic bottles can have the same harmful effects. We just talked about the dangers of microwaving in plastic, but the plastic problem doesn't stop there. Drinking water from plastic bottles is another major testosterone killer that you need to eliminate from your life. It's the same issue as with microwaving those pesky xenoestrogens and endocrine disruptors lurking in many plastics. Every time you take a swig from a plastic water bottle, you're potentially ingesting those chemicals, and over time that can take a toll on your testosterone levels. So ditch the plastic water bottles and invest in a good reusable bottle instead. Stainless steel and glass are great options. Plus, you'll be doing your part for the environment by reducing plastic waste. Number 6. Stop drinking tap water. You might think you're safe if you're not drinking from plastic bottles, but hold on a second. Even tap water, the stuff that comes out of your faucet, can be a testosterone killer in disguise. Now, I'm not saying all tap water is bad, but it's important to be aware of the potential contaminants that can lurk in your water supply. We're talking about things like chlorine, fluoride, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and even heavy metals. These contaminants can disrupt your hormonal balance and wreak havoc on your testosterone levels. So what's a thirsty guy to do? The solution is simple, invest in a good water filter. A high quality water filter will remove those harmful contaminants and ensure that you're drinking clean, pure water that won't mess with your hormones. Next, alcohol. Yeah, I know. Now I'm not here to preach teetotalism. I enjoy a good glass of wine or a glass of whiskey as much as the next guy. But, it's important to be aware of the impact alcohol can have on your testosterone levels, especially if you're a regular drinker. Here's the deal, alcohol is a depressant. It slows down your central nervous system, and that includes your hormone production. When you drink alcohol, your body produces less testosterone and more of the stress hormone cortisol. Not a good combination for maintaining your manhood. And if you're someone who likes to hit the sauce hard and often, the damage can be even worse. So, what's the solution? Moderation, my friends. If you're serious about optimizing your testosterone levels, consider taking a break from alcohol altogether for a while. Number 8. Lack of competition. Let's talk about something that's hardwired into every man's DNA. Competition. It's what drives us, it's what pushes us to be our best, and it's also a key factor in maintaining healthy testosterone levels. Think about it, our ancestors were constantly competing for resources, for mates, for survival, it's in our blood. But in our modern, comfortable world, it's easy to become complacent. We sit at desks all day, we scroll through social media, we avoid challenges and conflict, we basically live like pussies. The good news is, there are countless ways to bring healthy competition into your life. Join a sports team, compete in a race, challenge yourself at the gym, or even just play a board game with friends where you're really trying hard to win. When you do, you'll not only boost your testosterone levels but also feel more alive and invigorated. Number 9. Not being active. This one might seem obvious, but it's amazing how many guys still underestimate the importance of physical activity for their testosterone levels. We were built to move, fellas, not to sit on our butts all day staring at screens. Movement is life, and it's also essential for maintaining healthy testosterone production. When you exercise, especially when you engage in strength training, your body releases testosterone. It's like a natural shot of manhood, boosting your energy levels, improving your mood, and helping you build muscle mass. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Even just 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week can make a big difference. Make it a part of your routine and your testosterone levels will thank you. Finally, not sleeping enough. This is when your body does its most important work, repairing tissues, building muscle, and yes, producing those all important hormones. Testosterone production is closely linked to your sleep-wake cycle. When you sleep, your body releases a surge of testosterone, peaking in the early morning hours. But, when you consistently skimp on sleep, you disrupt this natural rhythm and throw your hormones out of whack. We're talking about lower testosterone levels, increased cortisol, the stress hormone, decreased muscle mass, and even a higher risk of weight gain. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep every night. So there you have it brothers, 10 of the worst testosterone killers you need to avoid. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends.
By making these simple changes to your lifestyle, what you eat, what you drink, how you sleep, how you move, you can boost your testosterone and live a healthier, more energetic life. Remember, testosterone is the driving force behind your energy, your strength, your confidence, and your overall well-being. Stay strong and stay healthy.